are five examples to understand how do we find slope, x-intercept, and y-intercept. Thank you. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we'll try to understand linear equations. We'll actually calculate three parameters. One is that we'll find the slope. Second, we'll find x-intercept and third, the y-intercept from the given equation. We have five examples for you. Equations in different forms are given to you. Let us now see how do we find the slope x and y-intercepts of these equations. Well, in case you want to learn from me, feel free to send an email on globalmathinstitute at gmail.com. Let me also thank all our viewers and subscribers for watching the videos. Your contributions to our channel is extremely important. This is your channel. You provide us with the questions, we provide you with the solutions. Perfect, right? Well, for 15 years, we have been providing you with absolutely free videos. Almost 17,000 free math videos are there for you. And these are being watched over 80 countries. Many cannot afford the quality education. Your contributions help us to provide the free services and reach millions. So please keep contributing. Thanks and all the best for that. Now, let's look into the solution of these. We'll begin from question number one. Understand the concepts. The very first question is, we are given the equation y equals to 12 minus 3x. We need to find the slope, y-intercept and the x-intercept. So let's understand another form of equation which is y equals to mx plus b. Now this is called slope-intercept form, correct? Mainly y-intercept form. Reason very clear. The coefficient of x, letter m, is basically the slope of the line. And b is the y-intercept. Perfect. Y-intercept is, is a point where the line crosses the y-axis. And x-intercept is where? The line crosses the x-axis. x, -intercept, x -axis. So now, from the equation, if you rewrite, this has minus 3x plus 12. You know, the slope can be read directly, which is minus 3. So let me write down slope, which normally we write with letter m. It's also, say, gradient is minus 3. Y-intercept is when x equals to 0. So if I put x equals to 0, I get y equals to 12. You say, so the y-intercept can be written as 0, 12. It is good to write the coordinate value. And how about the x-intercept? To find x-intercept, put y equals to 0 and find the value of x. So if I do that, what do I get? I get 0 equals to minus 3x plus 12. Let's rearrange. We get 3x equals to 12. x equals to 12 over 3, which is 4. And therefore, 4 is the x-intercept. Means, at 4, the y value is 0. So that becomes the x-intercept. Do you see that? So for the given equation, we found that the slope m is minus 3. The x-intercept, which we found at the end, is 4, 0. And the y-intercept is read directly from this equation as for x equals to 0, y is 12. Is that clear to you? Perfect. With that, let's move on. Take up the next question. This is very similar to the previous one with a difference. The equation is not in slope-intercept form, right? So the equation may need to be rewritten to find the slope. Correct. But this equation is very good. 
to find x and y intercept. So what are we going to do? First, we will find x intercept and y intercept and then we will rearrange this equation to find the slope. Does it make sense to you? Perfect. Well, we teach you strategies to solve problems. And well, in case you want to learn directly from me, feel free to send an email on globalmathinstitute at gmail.com. So once again, we'll calculate x intercept here, which really means that y has to be equal to 0. So if I put y as 0 here, I get 9x plus 4 times 0 equals to 18, which means 9x is 18 x is 18 divided by 9 which is 2 and therefore the x intercept basically is 2 the x value y value being 0 clear so we found the x intercept now let us find the y intercept y intercept is a point where x equals to 0 so in the equation if i put x equals to 0 i get 0 plus 4y equals to 18 and solving for y, we get 18 over 4, or y is equal to 9 by 2. You can write 4.5 also, and the y intercept will be 0, 9 by 2. Fractions are preferred when we talk about the coordinate points. They always give you the exact value. You get the idea? If suppose 3 was in the denominator, you would have got a repeated decimal, right? Anyway, so we found x and y intercept. Now, how do we find the slope? Slope, sometimes we also call this as a gradient. To find slope, we have to rearrange the equation, which is given to us as 9x plus 4y equals to 18. Isolate y. So, we get 4y equals to minus 9x plus 18 divided by 4. So, minus 9 by 4x plus 18 by 4, which gives us y equals to minus 9 by 4, which is the slope now, and 18 by 4 can be written as 9 by 2. So from here, we know slope is what? So slope m equals to minus 9 by 4. Do you see that? Well, you can verify that the y-intercept is same as we calculated earlier. So even if you calculated it earlier, you can now verify it. So good practice. Anyway, so you've seen that the equation given in this form, it is better to find x and y intercept than rearrange and get the slope or the gradient. I hope the concept is absolutely clear. Now let's move on to question number three. So question number three is given to us in standard form, right? So we're given the equation 6x minus 2y minus 44 equals to 0. So from here, let us find the x-intercept first, right? So what is the x-intercept? For that, y equals to 0. So we get 6x minus 0 minus 44 equals to 0. 6x equals to 44. x is 44 divided by 6, correct? So dividing by 2 gives us 22 over 3 and we know that the x-intercept is 22 over 3, y value being 0. Last time we learned that if we are writing the equation slope-intercept form, we can read both slope and y-intercept. So let's do that part. So we have 6x minus 2y minus 44 equals to 0, rearrange. So we get minus 2y equals to minus 6x plus 44. And y will be equal to minus 6x divided by minus 2 plus 4, 4 divided by minus 2. So y is equals to plus 3x minus 22. You get the idea. So from here, we get both slope m, which is 3, and the y intercept, which is 0 minus 22. Makes sense. So we got both the values from here, right? So that is how you could find the y-intercept and slope by rearranging the equation, writing it in slope-intercept form. Thank you. <coughs> so I hope the concepts are absolutely clear. 
in case you want to learn directly from me, feel free to send an email on the address given. Most of our students are doing extremely well and we can be part of your success story. Here is question number four. You've learned all these strategies. I'd like you to answer this question. <clears throat> now here, the only thing is that we have the equation 6x minus 5y and written this in mixed numbers. You could now write it as improper fraction. Multiplying 1 by 5 and then adding 3 gives us 8 over 5, right? So now that could be a good way of doing it. Perfect. So let's first find the rearrange this equation or do either way. So let's rearrange this equation, which is for us 6x minus 5y equals to minus 8 over 5. So we can actually take 5y to the other side and rewrite this as 5y equals to 6x plus 8 over 5. Makes sense. Dividing by 5 gives 6 over 5x plus 8 over 5 times 5, which is 25. Okay. So from here, we can write down that the slope which is m is equal to 6 over 5 and the y intercept is at 0 the value will be 8 over 25 so we got two points correct now let's find the x intercept so for x intercept you know y is equal to 0 so in this equation we'll put 6x minus 0 equals to minus 8 over 5 so x is equal to minus 8 over 5 times 1 over 6. So x is equal to minus. We can simplify this, right? So 8 and 5 can go 4 and 3 times. So minus 4 over 15. So x intercept is minus 4 over 15, y value being 0. Correct? That is how we are going to do it. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear, right? The last question, you can take this as your test question, right? And find both intercepts and also the slope, correct? So let's rearrange. So take a moment to do it and then check with my solution. So the equation given to us is 3x plus 2 over 3 y equals to 4 over 5. Rearranging 2 over 3 y equals to minus 3x plus 4 over 5 y is equals to minus 3 times 3 over 2x right plus 4 over 5 4 over 5 times 3 over 2 right so that gives us y equals to minus 9 over 2x and here we get plus 4 goes 2 times so we have 6 over 5 correct so from this equation we can read the slope which is this much y intercept is that so we can say slope m equals to minus 9 by 2 and y intercept is the coordinate point 0, 6 by 5. Is that clear to you? Now let's find the x intercept. So x intercept means y is equal to 0. So in this equation, we have 3x plus 0 equals to 4 over 5. So, x is equal to 4 over 5 times 1 over 3, which is 4 over 15. And therefore, the x intercept should be 4 over 15, y value being 0. Is that clear to you? So, easily we could find the x intercept also. So, we have done all the four questions, five questions, right? Clear, absolutely clear, all the five questions, right? They are different forms, and we have learned that slope you have to write the equation in y equals to mx plus b that gives you two important parameters m and b m being slope b being y intercept and to find x intercept we have to just put y equals to zero and then solve for x to get the x intercept so that is based for doing this particular type of equation i hope that helps once again, a quick reminder that your contributions matter and we'd like you to support our ongoing progress on helping people worldwide. Thanks a lot for your considerations and support. All the best.